Hello, this is the message for all our parents at Aspire. As you know, the government have been putting out recently lots of guidance for secondary schools. There is a written form of this message, if you like, on our website, but I wanted to address you personally over this video. We've been given some very clear guidance from the government in order to make sure that we can open for all our students in September, but open in a safe way. I've put together a very comprehensive risk assessment, which is available on the website for all to see, so you can see the measures that we're putting in place in terms of hand hygiene, social distancing, and all the other things that we need to do to make it safe for you to have the confidence to send your child back to Aspire in September. It's really important that I communicate to you that I am confident that it's as safe as it possibly can be at Aspire from September and that we are hopefully can work together to move forward. The main way that we're going to help make this academy as safe as it can be is by zoning students and we're going to zone them by year groups. There will be a shorter video, one for year seven, one for year eight, etc., just outlining the different zones, etc., and the lunch times and things like that. But for now, we're going to house each group in a different zone. So year seven, for example, are going to be upstairs on C1 to C7. They're the classrooms that they're going to be based in. Year 10 will be down on A floor, just around the corner from where I am now, and they'll receive their golden hours in those rooms. We're going to have a staggered start to ensure that we've not got 900 students descending on the school at any one time. Year 7, Year 8 and Year 9 will all arrive at 8.25 for an 8.30 start. Again, the exact locations of those starting times for Year 7, 8 and 9 are on the individual year group videos. Year 10 and 11 will start at 8.55 or arrive at 8.55 for a 9 o'clock start and again the exact locations where students are to arrive are on the separate year group videos. It's really important from a health and safety perspective and so that we don't overwhelm public transport that students do arrive at the times that have been stated. Students will not be allowed into the school building until those times. We recognise that we need to put a breakfast club on. Normally we have bacon sandwiches, sausage sandwiches and all the works. Unfortunately, we're going to slim down that menu to just toast. But toast will be available from 8.10 for year 7, 8 and 9 and 8.45 for year 10 and 11 at designated spaces. And I'll communicate that at a later point over the summer. The curriculum what your children will be actually doing when they're in school. Despite having to move the students around to different zones and to keep certain teachers within certain zones so the teachers aren't moving freely between those zones, we have created a new timetable. But I'm pleased to say that we've honoured the original curriculum. So every child will receive the same quota of English, Math, Science, History, Geography, French, Performing Arts, PE, etc. as they would have done with the normal timetable is what I'm calling it, which was the original original one which we will revert back to once this pandemic is over. Aspire has been built on a golden culture. It's been built on a scholarly approach to learning and that has to be maintained by all students. The quality of our results shine through and prove that the approach that we've taken works. So I have to ask that in September, despite students being out of school for such a long time, it'll be nearly six months for many of them, that they come back and their conduct, behaviour and attitude to learning is first class. We cannot have students who endanger the health and safety of others because of their behaviour. Poor behaviour, poor conduct, a poor attitude to learning will result in quite harsh sanctions. I have to be harsh with the sanctions because we have to maintain a safe school, but we have to ensure that we build back better than before. Students have missed a lot of learning and although we've provided fantastic online offer, the workbook offer, it does not, as you'll agree, I'm sure, replicate the quality of the golden hours that we provide on a day-to-day -day basis, 25 a week at Aspire. So it's absolutely imperative that the behaviour and conduct of students is perfect. Uniform. For those who have sent children in to this point, year 10 are back at the moment on a sort of day-by-day -day basis and we've had key worker 
uh, groups in right from the very start of the pandemic and they're in non-uniform but from September it is full uniform so that's shirt, tie, blazer, skirt or pants and shoes. On the day that your child has PE, and we will only commence PE lessons from the sort of second week back, which is the first full week, you can send your child in their PE kit on the days that they have PE. That means that we don't need to open up the changing rooms in the same way, and again, that just makes things run smoother and easier. We recognise that students have been out of school for such a long time and it will take time for the routines and the new routines certainly to become established and one of our main aims is to help students with their well-being. So form time which will be a 15 minute slot every morning is geared certainly for the first half term up to October to be purely about children's well-being and we'll be putting on lots of different things in lots of different lessons to support your child's well-being. The school is investing in a counsellor which will be a full-time post um, certainly for the first year and we will use that post to support students with their well-being going forward. I hope that by watching this video and reading the letter format that you do feel confident to send your child back to Aspire. Clearly the government have given us the remit, they've given us the backing if you like to start with fines and taking uh, parents to court etc from September if they don't send their child back. My attitude is this that we need to work together as the school and the parents and carers to ensure that we build confidence to bring your child back. So initially, I'm not going to go down that heavy handed route. I'm going to work with you as families to try and get all students back. Wouldn't it be amazing if we had 100% attendance on the first day back? That would be amazing and fantastic and a real feather in our cap. But what we will do is obviously move to those sanctions etc as September rolls on if students aren't coming back and we don't feel that there's a genuine reason for that to be the case. As I've said there are individual year group videos alongside this one which just shows you the exact zones that students will be working in and the um, areas that students will be arriving in those locations. I hope you're well. I hope that you've coped well during this pandemic. I hope you found the well-being calls that have happened every week and the interactions that we've had as a school useful and supportive. And I look forward to working with you again in September. But for now, I'd just like to wish you a fantastic summer. I hope that you can do more things than you've been able to do as the lockdown relaxes. And I look forward to working with you and your children in September as we build back better and we make sure that your children have those golden futures that Aspire has been forged on. Thank you.